Well, we're now less than a week from what could be the biggest celestial event in years, a total solar eclipse that crosses right across the central United States. And joining us this morning to talk about the uh, big event, NASA senior research scientist, Dr. Eric Christian. Hey, good morning. How, how you doing? Good morning. I'm doing well. Good. Hey, well, I know, it's, I know it's the central part of the U.S., but we're worried about how much of Florida is going to see this thing. Can you give us, can you give us an idea? Yeah, this eclipse is nice because the entire continental United States is going to see at least a partial eclipse. And Tampa is going to be about 65% eclipse. So about two-thirds of the sun will be covered by the moon. Is, uh, tell us how big a deal this one is. Is it different from others? Is it just, it, I know these things happen and this is just another one? So total eclipses happen somewhere um, on the planet about once a year, once every 18 months. Okay. But the next one in the continental United States isn't going to be for 20 years. And so this is a great opportunity. It goes right across the, the middle of the country, and lots of people can see the total eclipse, which is very different than the partial eclipse. It really is night and day. Yeah. Um and what, from NASA's perspective, how do you all look at this? What do you learn from this? What do you take from something like this? So there's a lot of things that NASA studies when it comes to eclipses. We actually make our own artificial eclipses in space, things called coronagraphs. But they're not as good as the moon, which uh, blocks the sun almost perfectly. And you can see almost down to the surface of the sun. That's a really interesting spot because that's where all the action is happening. That's where the corona is formed. That's where the atmosphere of the sun gets heated. I am I'm holding in my hand right here my eclipse glasses. And I want you to tell me the importance of everybody wearing these glasses who's going to be looking. There you are. You got yours too. Everybody who's going to be looking at, wow, they're dark. I haven't looked through them yet. They are dark. You shouldn't be able to see anything except really bright lights in the eclipse glasses. That's one of the ways you know that they're good. And if they've got any scratches or pinholes, don't use them. Even a tiny little bit of the sun can damage your retina. The sun is very, very bright. So don't look at the sun unless you have approved eclipse glasses and they'll have an ISO stamp on them um, or using it like an indirect method, like a pinhole camera. Okay. Hey. Doctor, thank you. Good to, good to see you. I'm sure we'll talk again along the way. Thanks for the great advice, okay? Thank you. All right, wear your glasses. And um, we want to tell everybody also you can find out more on the solar eclipse from our website, fox13news.com. We have all the details. If you're planning a, a road trip, maybe to Paris, Texas, or just watching it from right here at home, you can find the link right on our homepage. See how dark it is? Cool.